about 30 years ago, I damaged my knee. I, I was racing motocross. I was 16. Uh, so I guess it was 34 years ago since I'm 50 years old now. And uh, tore it up pretty good. I got to the point where I could hardly walk on it. Uh, in those days, they just removed the cartilage. They had the cartilage removed. Um, at Stanford University. Um, everything went good for about eight years and then it started going downhill in a hurry. Uh, my knees started being continuously sore. Uh, I started being concerned about being able to walk or what was happening so I went to uh, several orthopedic doctors uh, and didn't get any good answers. I was kind of at a loss for what I could do. I was too young for a replacement and they basically told me, three uh, orthopedic doctors told me I need to slow down because I'm too young for knee replacement and um, I had a long way to go and I had to save that knee. So I became really concerned because I'm an active person. Um, I did all types of activities, uh, just recreational. And so eventually, through one of those uh, facilities, um, I learned about Dr. Stone here in San Francisco. Came to San Francisco, saw Dr. Stone, he looked at me and he says, what do you want from me? I told him what was wrong, what was going on, he said, okay. I said, what? He said, okay, we'll fix it. You can, we'll get it so you can ski and do whatever you want to do. So I was kind of floored at that point, thinking, you know, and that's what I wanted to hear from the other doctors. So uh, I left that appointment feeling really um, good about what's going on. And then you start thinking, well, this is the only guy that's told me this, but I did a lot of research on Dr. Stone and his facility and what he was researching and uh, found out this is exactly what I was looking for. Um, I was actually told by one of the uh, other surgeons that I saw that what Dr. Stone was doing uh, was not proven and they don't think it, he doesn't think it's going to work or that it works and that nobody wants to do the therapy that's required. Uh, most people won't do the therapy required to make it work even if it will work. So he doesn't, he wasn't even look at it. Um, so anyway, I was, I was ready to prove all that wrong and uh, I was ready to work and do whatever I needed to do to make it right. So in about 90, 1996, uh, Dr. Stone did a, first off, um, in about 1994 or 5, uh, when I came up to the clinic, um, his therapy department, which was very small at that time, got me by for two more years because Dr. Stone wanted to keep improving and learn more about what he was doing and how he could do it. And uh, by 19, I think it was 1997, um, he was ready to do something with my knee, and I was ready for him to do something with my knee. So I came in, he did articular grafting uh, in January, and by December of that, and my knee had not been, after two months, my knee was pain-free. I hadn't had a, uh, my knee hadn't been pain-free uh, since 1977, roughly, and this was 1997. So for 10 years, I've had knee pain. And uh, this was the first period I, I couldn't believe what was happening. I started using my knee extremely heavily. And uh, by December of that year, my knee was getting very sore. It was pain-free for about four months and then started getting slightly sore and worse and worse. But I had no articular, I mean, no, uh, I had no meniscus cartilage in there to protect the joint. So by that time, he was pretty confident in, in planting uh, meniscus cartilage. He, uh, I came up here and we talked and he uh, told me what he wanted to do and I was ready to go. Uh, and constantly he was emphasizing how important the therapy was. Uh, his therapy department had grown somewhat and uh, had some very good people in there and I worked with them and um, he implanted that meniscus and everything went extremely well for five years. Uh, my knee was perfectly fine. I did a lot of snowboarding, um, which was great. At one point, and I was, I was actually riding my bike, uh, 
climbing, sprinting up a climb, um, I tore a chunk of the articular cartilage out. So, and that was painful. And it was floating around into the pieces. So, I came back up to see Dr. Stone. Um, I said, what are we going to do? He says, I'll fix it. So again, I went back into surgery, but he, he said this time, we need to take a little stress off of that medial compartment. So uh, we talked about it, and he did an osteotomy to take some stress off that medial compartment, um, repaired the articular cartilage. Uh, my meniscus was actually fine. Um, put me back together. I tore my meniscus again, the implant, chasing my nephew down a hallway. And I stopped to twist and turn, and it, it tore it. Out of all the snowboarding and all the uh, mountain biking and road biking and all the backpacking and hiking, I did. Had no problems with my knee until that day. And uh, I came back up here, and he, I didn't know for sure I tore. I thought I did. Went to his office. He checked the knee. He said, you tore your meniscus. Well, that was difficult to hear. Um, but he said, I said, what do we do? He says, I'll fix it. I said, okay. So I went back to surgery, he sewed it back together, um, and that was about um, 10 years ago. And I have that same meniscus in my knee. Uh, the articular cartilage seems to be doing just fine. My knee gets has seemed to get better uh, over the last eight years than it was. It got better slowly after this last surgery. and kind of stayed in one spot and pretty soon it seemed like it just continually very very small increments continued to get better and better and better and I I'm absolutely amazed at that uh, I do a lot of uh, pretty hardcore mountain biking um, I haven't done any snowboarding just because I haven't had the time um, I've done backpacking a lot of hiking 